In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of tips and tricks to help improve your workflow and to stay organized inside of FL Studio. I don't really have much yapping to do at the beginning of this video, so let's just hop right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is having some sort of filing system that works best for you. I'm going to be showing you guys how I like to keep all of my files organized, and I actually use Dropbox for this. So as you can see on the side of FL, I have all of my kits basically under a year folder. And for every year, I like to make this entire template just so it can keep me organized. Now, the first thing to cover is my FL Studio section. So under this section, I like to have all of my kits organized based on what type of kit they are. So we can see I have my drum kits, my effects kits, uh, mixer presets. And then I also have a section for my own kits just so I can keep stuff organized when I'm making the kit and I don't have to kind of search around for where to put the files once I'm done with it. And then we got one shots phrases, kits, and then stash kits. And another good thing I like to have is my tags folder. Now this just is a bunch of tags from producers that I like to work with often. It makes it super easy if I need to add their tag, I can just go to one place and search for their name. Having all of these kits kind of separated like this really helps my workflow because if I'm making a beat, I know that I need this drum kit. I just go right to my drum kits folder. I know that it's going to be in there. I don't have to spend time, you know, searching through a bunch of different packs to find what I'm looking for. Now, like I said before, I use Dropbox for all of my folders and stuff. And one thing I was put onto by my boy JJ is that you can actually link your Dropbox to your computer's system files, like in your OS operator. So like for instance, I'm on Windows right now for my main PC, and all you have to do is just download the Dropbox app, and then you can sync selected files from your Dropbox to actually show up on your computer. So like you can see over here, I have pretty much all of my files from Dropbox synced over to my computer. So these folders are actually stored on Dropbox, but by downloading the app and syncing them, you can actually get them to show up on your computer inside of FL. This is like one of the most helpful things for me because as soon as I'm done with a beat or as soon as I'm done making a loop or whatever, I just save it right to my computer. But since my computer is linked to Dropbox, it'll automatically upload that file straight to Dropbox. So I don't have to like do it manually every time. And then that also means that if I'm ever like on my phone or on my laptop and I need that beat, I can just pull up Dropbox and it'll be right there. So it's a really good way to kind of system link a bunch of different things together. So this will cost you about 10 bucks a month if you wanna go the Dropbox route because you only get like 2000 gigabytes of storage originally with the basic Dropbox plan that's free. Um, but if you pay for like the $10 a month one, then you end up getting, I think it's like 2000 gigabytes of storage or something. So you really shouldn't need any more than that. And so after you download the Dropbox app and then you sync all of your files to get them to actually show up in FL Studio, you're going to want to go to this options tab, your file settings. And then under all of these folder sections, you just click a new folder icon. So this will bring up like your file systems and you can see that there's a little section for Dropbox. So you just click on that and then you can select whatever folders you've pre-made in Dropbox to show up in your FL. Now back over to FL under my 2024 folder, I also have it broken down into months of the year. So I have like a January through December. In each one of these folders, I have it separately categorized into loops, MP3s, which are just beats, uh, the FLPs, MIDIs, miscellaneous folders for like YouTube content or like stems of a beat if I need them for something. And then my zips folder. In my loops category, I also have them broken down into each week. Um, this just kind of helps me with sending out weeklies. If you guys do that, this is a really good tip. Um, and like I said, all of this stuff is stored in Dropbox. So it makes it super easy when you need to send out like a pack of loops or something. You can just open up Dropbox on your browser and then this folder will already be there full of all the loops and you can just go ahead and share it. I also have my loop and MIDI archives uploaded to Dropbox. Um, I don't have them showing up in FL or synced to my computer just because it kind of would take up a lot more space just having duplicate files of everything. So I keep that one just housed um, on like the cloud version of Dropbox. But essentially for that, what I do at the end of every month, I just go through my loops and my midis and I copy them over to that master archive folder. And I make like a new month for that um, and just kind of put everything there. So I have it all together and ready to go. Having an archive folder for loops and midis is pretty important because you don't know when someone's gonna hit you up and just 
they could ask for all of your loops. They could ask for all of your midis. So it's just good to have all that stuff in one place ready to go. The last pretty important folder to me personally is my weeklies folder. And this folder actually just consists of a lot of the people that I work with on a regular basis. I'll make a new folder for them. And then inside of each folder, let's say we open gateways folder. I have it all broken down into the loops for each month that he sends out. And then all of the midis as well that he sends out each month. I like to have them separately categorized just because it makes it easier for me to go through. I know this all kind of seems like a ton of folders to have, but trust me, it will make your life so much easier. Having everything in a place where you can easily find it just saves so much time in the long run. Overall, this is kind of how I stay organized in FL. I think this method works really well for me. It improves my workflow a bunch. If you made it this far into the video, I just want to say thank you for watching. And also let me know how you guys stay organized. Do you use the Dropbox method? Do you have other methods that help you? I'm always curious to see kind of how people are staying organized or kind of how everybody sets their stuff up. Or you can also let me know if your FL just looks like a dumpster fire and you have nothing organized and there's nothing wrong with that. If you know where all your files are, then it works for you and that's great. But that's gonna do it for me. Make sure you guys like and subscribe as always and I will see you in the next vid. Peace.